In this lesson, we are going to examine two ways to collect survey data from a census and from a sample. When you collect data by surveying all the people in a population, you are conducting a census survey. So census involves all people in a population. So the population might be every person in our class, every person in the school, it could even be every person in Ontario or every person in Canada. For example, let's pretend that we're doing a survey of every person in our class. And our survey question is going to be, what is your favorite movie? Since we're surveying every person in our class, this is a census survey. Also, since we're collecting this data ourselves, this data is called primary data. Primary data is data that you collect yourself. So you write the survey, you collect the survey data, and you put it all together. So that is primary data. Now a census survey is very accurate. And the reason it's very accurate is because it involves every person in the population. So it's accurate because every one person everyone in population had input Oops. had input into the survey question however for very large populations for large populations A census survey is very expensive, so it costs lots of money, and a census survey is very time consuming. For example, if we think of every person in Canada and according to Statistics Canada, in 2012, the population in Canada was 34,880,500. So imagine how much time and money it would take to survey every person in Canada. So when the population is too large to perform a census, we can perform a sample survey. So sample survey involves a portion of the population. So it involves a portion of the population. So for example, let's pretend that we want to find out the salaries of NHL players. Instead of surveying every NHL player, what we're going to do is use the internet to find the salaries of 10 NHL players. So if we think of players, whoops. So if we think of these, if we think of the population as all NHL players, these 10 players are going to be a sample of the population. However, we used the internet to collect this data. So this data is going to be called secondary. 
data. And secondary data is data you did not collect yourself. So even though, yes, we did go on the internet and we used the internet to collect this data ourselves, we did not directly interview or survey every NHL player, or we did not interview or survey these 10, H 10 NHL players to find out their salaries. We used the internet, but somebody else collected that data, so it is secondary data. Now a sample survey, in comparison to a census, is cheaper. So it's much cheaper than a census and it is also less time consuming than a census. So this is in comparison. Let's do this is in this is in comparison to a census. So it's cheaper and it's less time consuming. Because we're only involving a portion of the population, a sample survey is also less accurate than a census. So to review just some key points from this, a census involves all people in a population a census is very accurate because everyone in the population has input into the question. However, for large populations, a census survey is very expensive and it's very time consuming. In comparison, a sample survey involves a portion of the population. It is less accurate than a census, but it's also cheaper and less time consuming than a census. Also remember primary data is data that you collect yourself compared to secondary data which is data you did not collect yourself. So someone else collected the data and you just used that data that someone else collected. One final thing to consider when writing or creating a survey is whether the survey is reliable or biased. Now bias means that emphasis is placed on characteristics that do not do not represent the population. Bias in a survey is not good. So in a sample survey, it is biased if it does not accur accurately represent the population. So for example, if a population has so population has 20 boys and 20 girls, then our sample of this population should have an even number of boys and girls. If, however, we have a sample that has, for example, eight boys and two girls, we would say that this sample is biased because eight boys and two girls does not accurately represent this even number of boys and girls from the population. If the survey represents the population, then the survey is said to be valid. If the results of your survey can be duplicated, if it can be duplicated, then 
the survey is said to be reliable. So when you are writing or creating a survey, a valid and a reliable survey is what you are trying to achieve. Thanks for watching.